Good day everyone! Today we are on our week 5 for second quarter in our Great 10 Science. Our topic for today is about the effects of electromagnetic radiation on living things and the environment. By the way, I'm Miss Karen, your science teacher. Waves in the electromagnetic spectrum include radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet rays, X-rays, and gamma rays in order of decreasing wavelength. The waves in the various regions in the EM spectrum share similar properties but differ in wavelengths, frequency, energy, and method of production. In this activity, we have to match the EM radiation in column A with its application and uses in column B. Are you ready? Let us answer this. First, we have the radio waves. What do you think is the application of the radio waves? Correct. Radio and television communication. How about the microwaves? Yes, satellite television and communication. Next, we have the infrared waves. What is the application of the infrared waves? Yes, it can be used for remote control, household electrical appliances. How about the visible light? Correct! Visible light are used as artificial lighting and for optical fibers in medical uses. Next, we have the ultraviolet. What do you think is the application of the ultraviolet rays? Yes, sterilization and fluorescence. Another one is the X-ray. What is the use of X-rays? Correct, it is used for medical and engineering applications. Last, we have the gamma rays. Of course, the gamma rays are also used for the medical treatment. Very good. For your learning test 1, you have to read and analyze the various effects of electromagnetic radiation in the environment and other living things. Then, answer the questions that follow. Let's start. Electromagnetic radiation, environmental indicators in our surroundings. All living tissues have magnetic properties that are affected to some extent by the existence of electromagnetic radiation in the environment. Therefore, all living creatures include plants, microbes, animals, and humans are environmental indicators of exposure to electromagnetic radiation. Radiation is the process through which energy travels in the form of waves or particles through space or some other medium. Electromagnetic radiation is the propagation of waves that have an electric and magnetic field component. Biological cell proliferation and differentiation can be affected by both AC and DC magnetic fields. Radio frequency and microwave wavelengths can be made to carry information via amplitude, frequency, and phase modulation, such as data from television, mobile phones, wireless networking, and amateur radio. Chromosomal damage is a mechanism relevant to causation of birth defects and cancer. Long-term continuous or daily repeated EMF exposure has been found to induce cellular stress responses at non-thermal power levels that lead to an accumulation of DNA errors. Comparative studies in animals that rely on electromagnetic orientation provide valuable information. The effects of electromagnetic radiation on plants and animal life include the diminished radial growth of pine trees, 
lower density of bird species and mammals such as storks, sparrows, and bats. Effects on bees, effects on magnetic base homing mechanisms of birds, and many other effects. Plants and animals can be monitored as environmental indicator to assess the effects of electromagnetic radiation. This is adapted from Environmental Indicators by Yael Stein and Osmo Haninen in 2014. Now, let us answer the following questions. First, can living things serve as an indicator of exposure to electromagnetic radiation? Why? Second, explain the process of electromagnetic radiation. Third, based on the article, what are some of the advantages that can be given by radio frequency and microwaves? Fourth, how about the disadvantages or the negative effects of EM radiation? Cite some examples. And last, as a conclusion, explain whether EM radiation is beneficial or harmful to the environment and the living things. Support your idea by giving some points. Now, for your learning test 2, read and answer the given questions after the article. We have the benefits and hazards of electromagnetic waves, telecommunications, physical and biomedical, a review by S. Patool, ABB, F. Reza, and F. Mimi. Electromagnetic radiations. Radiations consist of both electric and magnetic fields. They are coming from natural and man-made resources. EMR is present in some scenario of everyone's life. Some of the most common sources of electromagnetic fields that everybody experiences are the solar radiation. The electric current that supplies household, mobile phone, television set, Wi-Fi, microwave computer, and etc. and antennas for communications. Artificial sources are used to generate high-level electromagnetic radiation which may be typically found in medical devices such as magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. Laser lithotripsy, X-ray computed tomography or CT, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and positron emission tomography or PET, and etc. In a residential environment, the diffusion of the induction cooktop hair dryers, cordless phones, modems, routers, appliances, alarm system, and etc. increases the possibility of domestic exposure to magnetic fields. Nevertheless, electromagnetic fields can also be used for the treatment of different diseases like cancer, kidney stones, gallstones, brain, liver, and etc. The practicality of the above-described technologies is due to the range of frequencies decreasing from ultra-high frequencies to extra-low frequencies available in the electromagnetic spectrum. This CMR spectrum includes ionizing and non-ionizing radiations. The health problems due to long-term effects of EMR from telecommunication and biomedical devices have been addressed among the people all over the world. The organizations like World Health Organization, Federal Communication Commission or FCC, and International Commission on Non-Ionization Radiation Protection or ICNIRP have recommended some safety guidelines for the protections of all the living beings. the present review, we have examined several research papers on living beings like rats, cows, 
plants, and humans. By experimental strategies, it was identified that long-term effects of EMR can possibly cause different diseases in a living being. Even if all those people are attentive to the long-term effects of EMR hazard, they may not have the other option to move away from it. If the cell phone, TV, and FM tower are installed near their houses, schools, public transports, and hospitals, and etc., but the matter is controversial. Meanwhile, EMR has many advantages in biomedical and telecommunication technologies, so it is impossible for us to stop using these radiations. However, researchers will try to find out the possible solutions, which may be expensive. But we will easily reduce the health risks in all living beings, like humans, animals, and birds. Okay, so for your learning test 3, write T if the statement is true and F if it is false. So these are the following questions. Overexposure to certain types of electromagnetic radiation can be harmful. The correct answer is... Next. Gamma rays also damage cells, causing mutations which may lead to cancer and cell death. True or false? The correct answer is... Next. Ultraviolet radiation or UV is found naturally in sunlight. True or false? The correct answer is... X-rays can damage cells in the body. True or false? The correct answer is... Microwave radiation is absorbed by water molecules, so it can be used for cooking. True or false? The correct answer is... Okay, very good. And that is the end of our lesson. You are now finished for week 1 to 2, week 3 to 4, and now you are done with week 5. Congratulations and job well done everyone. Have a nice day!